Good morning, this is Dylan Jovenier with Behind the Markets. Happy Friday. Today is August 16th. What a week. Oof, it's been one of those weeks where it's been trudging the road every single day. It's been one of those trudging weeks for me. But I am looking forward to the weekend. And today I want to talk about AI in drug discovery, which is an area that we've been talking about for a long time and that we've been covering for a while. And specifically what I want to talk about is recursions, acquisition or takeover of Excientia. I know I'm not pronouncing the Latin correctly, but, you know, for those of you Latin fans among us. So, you know, basically, I want to take you behind the deal, and I want to also use this as an opportunity to explain really what's happening in AI and drug discovery. Because, again, this is an area that we've covered for a very, very long time. So, basically, the leader in this field, no doubt, is Schrodinger. What has happened is there's a change happening in how these companies are looked at. In the beginning, years ago, before AI became popularized, these were like software companies that created a service for, let's say, Big Pharma, like Bristol-Myers or, you know, Glaxo or Sanofi or whatever. They'd say they'd help those companies find these drugs, discover drugs, or, and these Big Pharma companies would use their technology, their software, this computational physics model, to actually discover drugs. But what's happening is that these AI biotech companies really have actually become more like straight up biotech companies. Instead of software companies providing a service to big pharma, they've transitioned more into, and this has happened in the past year and a half. This is happening really right now in real time. They're transitioning now to real just software drug discovery companies, AI biotech companies. So now they're trading like biotech companies. You, you look at them like Schrodinger will pop up to, to 40 bucks a share and then it'll just kind of float and drip down and you know, blah, blah, blah. They, they're just kind of trading by appointment only. They're just kind of float and drift down until there's an event. Recursion's the same thing. It's just kind of been floating down, blah, blah, blah. And what, what moves these stocks now is their pipelines. And that's the real big change that's happened. These companies now are looked at as biotech companies and they're going to be looked at based on their pipelines as opposed to software companies that are selling software to big pharma because big pharma is getting their own software they're figuring out themselves. So when you look at companies like Recursion and their merger here, their takeover basically of Excientia, that makes sense to me because basically what this does is it gives the combined company a pipeline of like 10 drugs with very little overlap, actually no overlap in these drugs. There's zero competing overlap. And a lot of these, I'd say seven out of 10 of the drugs there have the ability to achieve peak annual sales of a billion dollars. So these are real big drugs. And more importantly for recursion and the combined company going forward, uh, it cut costs, but the combined company is gonna have $850 million in cash. They'll save $100 million a year in salaries, expenses, et cetera, et cetera. And more importantly, they're gonna have 10 clinical readouts coming within the next 18 months. So they're gonna get results from these tests in their pipeline. Schrodinger is one of my favorites here in, in this space because they've already made this move. And that's why Schrodinger has been so rocky in the past year, because investors looked at them as a software company and judged them on their software results. And now it's actually Wall Street and everybody starting to look at them as a biotech company and saying, okay, what tests have you developed? What drugs and, and uh, chemicals and uh, you know, things are you moving through your pipeline? And now they're being judged on that. And Schrodinger has a bunch of readouts in the coming months. Recursion has a bunch of readouts. And these things will move more drugs. They're going to be big, different from biotech companies in a couple of very important ways. One is they'll probably move drugs down faster. They're going to discover them and move them downfield faster. Number two, they're probably going to end up becoming like royalty companies where they develop a drug, a big drug on their own, and then they sell it to Bristol Myers and collect a piece, 10% royalty, 5% royalty, a billion, $2 billion, whatever it is. Or they sell it to Glaxo, they sell it to Merco, they sell it to Lilia, they sell it to Pfizer. So we're watching this unfold in real time. And it's very, very exciting. And I'm a big fan of this merger. It makes complete sense from a save cash 
perspective, lower your burn rate, and from putting together all the drugs that you have, having a real now robust pipeline that you can march down the field and get some good numbers up, put some good numbers up, which should have a great effect on this stock. Have a wonderful weekend.